Hello learners, I am your teacher Dr. Ronam and today we are going to study about oviparous, viviparous and ovoviviparous animals. First of all, oviparous. The oviparous animals, they lay shelled eggs to protect the developing eggs. So the animals, they are going to lay the eggs which have shell around it and the purpose is to protect the embryo. The animals will always hatch their young outside of their body and what will happen that egg is released out of the body and outside the body that embryo is going to develop into a young one. So the fertilization is internal however the development is external it means that uh, male and female gametes they are going to fuse together by the process of fertilization inside the body of the animal and after the egg development that egg is is released out of their body and outside the body that embryo will be converted or will be developed into a young one the examples of oviparous animals include reptiles which includes lizards birds which may include hen then comes the viviparous Internal fertilization leads to internal development of embryo inside the female body. It means that fertilization or the fusion of male and female gametes is inside the body as well as the development of the baby is also inside the body of the female and after the proper or complete development of the baby the baby or the young one is released out of the body the nourishment is provided to the developing baby through placenta the examples include human and other mammals including tiger elephants then comes the ovoviviparous in the ovoviviparous internal fertilization leads to internal development similar to this one however the difference is that in ovoviviparous to provide more protection to the developing embryo egg is formed around the developing embryo so there is double protection in the development of the baby one is by the body of the mother the second is by the egg they have the characteristic of oviparous and viviparous animals animals hatch egg inside of their bodies providing more protection to their young ones during their development the nourishment is provided through the food in the egg we know that yolk is the biggest source of energy for the developing embryo or it may also be provided by the placenta so here we can see that this part here is the embryo and you can see that this part is yolk sac it means that this here is the egg oviviviparous animals include shark moreover snakes and other animals so that was all about oviparous viviparous and ovo viviparous animals if you have any question related to that you can ask me in the comment section i'll see you in the next video